in competitive programming you have seen like that there are story based questions there is no direct question so this improves your readability right in interviews you are asked questions that are comparatively of low level in comparison to the questions that you do in competitive programming so if you have done decent level of 50 to 60 questions in competitive programming then you will find that interviews are just a cake walk right Welcome to this video on what is competitive programming by Coding Ninjas. Myself is Shesh and I will be taking you through this video. In this video we will discuss about competitive programming in general like what is competitive programming and how we can start it and master it. Right? So guys if you like our content then make sure you subscribe to our Coding Ninjas channel for more such amazing content. So without any delay let's begin our discussion. So let us first see what is CP, right? So guys, if you like sports, you want to accept challenges in life and if you are a programmer then competitive programming is definitely made for you, right? In CP, various organizations host programming challenges on internet and each contest has basically 5 to 6 problems which you have to solve by writing programs. You have to think of a logic and then convert that logic into program right so let us see how we can start cp see problems in competitive programming are solved using data structures and algorithms so you should be clear with the basics of dsa right before starting the competitive programming and if you code in c plus plus then make sure you know about stl standard template library which is very useful in competitive programming as it has all the implementation of various data structures and algorithms we need not to write a particular implementation right we can directly use it from the stl by importing the stl there are various algorithms various data structures present in this stl right so after this you can start giving after basically knowing data structures and algorithms basics right i'm not saying you have to master that basics of data structures and algorithms and stl if you code in c plus plus so after this you can start giving contests and on various websites like code policies code chef and ad coder these are very popular websites that organize contests every week right see it is it is possible that you may not get the you may not be able to solve a single question on day one but gradually you will begin solving questions right it it happens sometimes because in cp contest you are given a story based problem with which you may not be familiar before right so keep giving contests you will be able to solve problems right you will you will keep you will find enjoy in solving problems you will be optimally when you will be solving the problems optimally na, you will find that yeah it's giving you it it will begin giving you some type of satisfactions right so before moving forward let me tell you one thing if you want to do data structures and algorithms course then there are amazing courses available on coding ninjas website these courses are available in c java and python so if you go through this course then you will find that every basically the whole content is structured right so you will be learning everything in depth right so click on the link given in the description below to explore these courses right so now now let us see how we can master competitive programming see in cp you will find topic basically problems from the topics like db graph right number theory and there are basically binary search and bit masking and then string algorithms and sometimes ad hoc problems are also there so even if you are not able to master these topics by learning dsa then you will be able to master it while doing competitive programming right so keep solving questions from the previous contest right and absolve the current contest absolving means so see if you're not able to do a problem in a contest but you are trying then make sure you solve it after the contest ends so you can solve after the contest by 
looking at the solutions by looking at the editorials by looking at the youtube screen cast right so you have to absolve a contest these things will help you to master cpa right and remember up to some point you can grow basically by learning new concept c if i talk about code forces you can basically grow by learning new concepts till mark till expert right but after that only practice is the thing that will help you grow so keep practicing right ratings will go up and down but you should not lose confidence and keep practicing right practice is the main thing when cp comes right so let us see now why we should do cp why we should do competitive programming see for many people it is like a fun so they find fun in solving these problems right so that that could be the one reason the other reason could be it is a gateway to the various product based companies like google amazon flipkart right see in the in these companies there is an online coding round right so that is basically a time test in online rounds you have to solve basically two three problems in an hour or in in half an hour right so that pressure you will be able to handle better in a better way if you have given some contests in competitive programming on the websites which i have mentioned before right so you will be able to handle pressure in a better way and see in interviews you are asked questions that are comparatively of low level in comparison to the questions that you do in competitive programming right so if you have done decent level of 50 to 60 questions in competitive programming then you will find that interviews are just a cake walk right so interviews become very easy for you interview questions will become very easy for you if you if you are doing cp right if you are doing competitive programming right and see in competitive programming you have seen like that there are story based questions there is no direct question so there is no direct question like find the sum of the elements in the array no but they are they give you some story and at the end you might have to find only the sum of the elements of the array but they don't directly say you that find the sum of the elements of the array so this improves your readability right so suppose new question comes then you will be able to understand the essence of the question in a much faster way than the others who don't do competitive programming right so it's very useful and it makes you a good problem solver right so basically you don't only solve the problem you solve it optimally right so these are the few things that you need to remember while doing competitive programming right and i told you about the some some of the main topics as well right so guys this is all about this video and i hope you really enjoyed and learned from this video so for more such amazing content you can subscribe to according ninja's channel for various informative videos right and if you have any doubts you can let me know in the comment section below right so thank you guys keep learning and stay safe